Hi, my name is Rashida. I just want to encourage us during this First Things First challenge. Have you ever had a scripture that kept coming up no matter where you went, no matter what minister you're listening to, whatever it is that just kept coming up and you knew that that was something that God um, wanted you to focus on? Well, interestingly enough, about 12 years ago, Matthew 6.33 was that for me. And so whenever I hear this scripture, I know that that's God kind of nudging me and reminding me, hey, make sure that you're seeking me first in everything, not just because it's January. 2022 not just because it's the, uh, the Christian thing to do but because he loves me I love him and that's just the easy way to get things taken care of what I wanted to encourage us with during this challenge is a uh, memory of mine of being a living nanny and so the family that I used to nanny for when the parents were not available the child that I was nannying would wake up like clockwork in the morning <laughs> and go and check for her parents and they weren't there so she'd immediately come into the room that I was staying in, curl up in my lap and ask for something to eat. It was my job to redirect her and remind her that uh, yes, we want something to eat, you will get something to eat, but first we're going to pray. So we would pray, I'd put on veggie tails and then I'd fix her some cereal real quick. But it reminded me of two things. One, she saw me as her source, kind of like how we need to see God as our source. And that's the first thing we need to do, seeking the source, not other things. And then two, it kind of reminded me, you know, when I wasn't seeking the right thing, <laughs> the Holy Spirit would redirect me to um, the source. And so in any situation, God's faithful. He's going to remind you of what you need to do. So love you guys. Look forward to seeing you at prayer. And if you, even if you're not available for that, be praying during 6.33 to 7.33 in the morning. Give them Jesus.